Hello to all Ado users, in this video I will show you how to install and set up Adapisoft system to Orange Pi 5. This is the OPI 5 which has a higher specs that can cater more active users connected in the machine just like the mini PC. Power cut setup is best for this OPI board for your Wi-Fi machine. You need to use a 12 volts power supply for your coin slot and bill acceptor. If you are using this AC or DC power supply, you must also use this female adapter. The red wire assigned is the positive and the black wire for the negative. You also need this 5 volts single channel relay to operate the bill acceptor and coin slot. This red wire is for the common connection, which is connected to 12 volts of power supply. This black wire is assigned for the common ground. The brown wire is assigned to IN, which is used to control the output of the relay. Red wire for VCC, which provides power to the relay. You need also to prepare 5 volts buck converter for OPI board power. The good thing about this OPI5 is a Type-C powered device and with that we need this Type-C cord. The coin slot and bill acceptor serves as a payment device of the machine. Prepare also these two red and black wires for the bill acceptor. First, let's connect the positive or red wire of the buck converter and the female adapter. followed with the negative or black wire of the buck converter to the black wire of the female adapter. Next is to connect the comm wire of the relay to the red wire of the female adapter. This wire will pass through the 12 volts to the relay. Connect the red wire intended for the 12 volts of the coin slot to the NO or normally open of the relay. You also need another red wire to join and connect the NO terminal for the bill acceptor. Every time you activate the relay both the coin slot and bill acceptor will be powered on. Just prepare extra wires like DuPont wires for the connection. Then connect the black wire or ground of the coin slot to the black wire of your female adapter. Get the black wire intended for bill acceptor and connect to the negative or black colored wire of your female adapter. Insert the type C cords to the buck converter. Now let's connect the wires to the OPI pins. For the black wire or the ground of the relay, insert to pin 9 of the board. The brown wire is connected to the IN or input of the relay which is assigned to pin 5 of the board. The purpose of this is to send signals to activate the relay. The red wire which is intended for the VCC of the relay and must be inserted to the 5 volts output of the OPI assigned in pin 2 or 4. The white wire intended for coin or credit can be inserted in pin 3. Now let's connect the bill acceptor to the OPI board. 
The yellow wire here is the inhibit or the acceptor relay of the bill acceptor. You may connect it to pin 18 of the OPI board. The blue wire which is the bill or credit of the bill acceptor may connect to pin 7 of the board. For the software, you can download it on the Adipisoft official website. Then use Bellina Etcher to flash it in the SD card. Just follow the old process like the RPI board. After all these wires are connected to the board and flash the SD card, you can now connect the Type-C cord, SD card, USB to LAN with access point and the LAN cable with internet supply. Now, plug in the 12 volts power supply and let the OPI board to boot then try to connect to your laptop or mobile phone. Now let's try to insert a coin and paper bill for testing. And yes, it works. Please support our YouTube channel for more Adipisoft video tutorials.